The K Sam Wake Up Morning Show. Dustin Lynch and Jelly Roll in a Chevrolet right here on the Wake Up Morning Show. All right, so a couple of things to look forward to here now that we are entering into the month of July. Uh And there's going to be a lot of things, uh, especially uh, entertainment wise on television. Uh, First of all, Wimbledon got underway early this morning. Uh, yeah. I, I've got it on constant stream on my laptop, <laughs> watching it right now. He's been schooling me on everything yeah. on it too. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. The Summer Olympics mm-hmm. uh, are going to get. Uh, there are a few events that are going to start on the 24th and 25th, but the opening ceremony will actually be on the 26th, and the games are going to run through August the 11th from Gay Paris. Mm. All right. Uh, let's see if the uh, movies are more your speed. How about some of this? Despicable Me 4 opens up on Wednesday. Eddie Murphy's brand new Beverly Hills Cop movie is going to be out on Netflix the same day. Twisters. That's it. That's That's the one. going to be on July the 19th. Deadpool and uh, Wolverine will open up on July 26th. So it's going to be a big month. Lots of entertainment. Lots of things. Lots of uh, lots of nice, cool ways to stay cool in the AC here during the hot month of July. And on our community spotlight this morning, let's check out our hometown happenings page at ksam1017.com. Celebrate Independence Day and support the new Waverly 4-H Community Club members at their big 4th of July shindig. And uh, the big fundraiser is coming up on Thursday, July the 4th. They're going to start with lunch at 11 o'clock over at St. Joseph's Catholic Church. That's right. And you can buy raffle tickets from club members to possibly win a grill, cash, or even a smart TV. Ooh. I mean, that's really nice, right? You can bid in the live auction from till about 1 p.m. And then at 730, you can enjoy the kids parade at Prosperity Bank before oh, yeah. the fireworks light up the night sky. It's going to be a ton of fun on the 4th yeah. of July. Like more information, get over to our... What's happening? Our, our summer fun hometown happenings page at ksam1017.com. Stan and Shane, bigger houses on KSAM. I'm Carlos Zimmerman. Your Southeast Texas weather forecast is coming right up. Ooh, it's going to be another hot one today. High near 98 today, folks. Heat index values around 107. A light southwest wind at 5 miles an hour. We're coming southeast this afternoon. So a little breeze, but not much. So please... Be careful out there if you're planning to be out and about later on this afternoon when it really heats up. Well, 4th of July is two days away. Google Trends have posted their big 4th of July roundup. Looking at the top things that we're Googling right now, here are some of the highlights. Uh, The top how to grill searches this year are for corn on the cob, salmon, chicken, asparagus, and burgers. Uh, The top boozy drinks we're Googling are a bomb pop cocktail, sangria, an aviation cocktail, margarita, or Aperol spritz. Most of the salads that we're Googling aren't the leafy kind. Pasta salad, cucumber salad, chicken salad, fruit salad, potato salad, macaroni salad, corn salad, jello pretzel salad, which is a dessert, and cowboy caviar, you know, that's beans, corn, and other stuff all mixed together. Another trending search, Trazodone for dogs. It's an anxiety med that helps pets deal with fireworks. Searches for it always spike in early July. And searches for baby headphones are up as well. Trying to protect the pets and the young ones from the firework sounds. You know, I hated those sounds when I was a kid, but I've grown to love it over the years. Who doesn't love a good firework? It's Patty Loveless. You don't even know who I am. 101.7 KSAM, your hometown radio station. You're listening to 90s at noon. I'm Carlos Zimmerman. Your Southeast Texas weather forecast is on the way. And I'll get you some Vince Gill and Shenandoah right around the corner, too. All right, time for a food story. You're the kind of person that likes extra pickles on their sandwich? Well, how about mostly pickles? A Long Island deli called Seven Brothers Gourmet recently added a pickle sandwich to the menu. It's a hoagie with a pickle as the bun. They slice a pickle lengthwise, then they scoop out the middle to make room, and then stuff it with meat, cheese, lettuce, bacon, and whatever else you want. Started selling it back in January, but it only blew up a few weeks ago after someone posted about it on TikTok. They're not even the first to do it. Another deli an hour east of them was already selling a pickle sandwich, but they didn't get the TikTok boost. The owners of Seven Brothers say they're currently selling about 250 of them a day with lines out the door. Well, they're easy enough to make yourself, so could pickle sandwiches be the trendy food this summer? I don't know. I love dill pickles. Not a fan of bread and butter for whatever reason, but... I do love the dill pickle. 
I don't know. It's just hit or miss. It depends on the day if I want one or not. All right. Dustin Lynch and Jelly Roll of Chevrolet on your hometown radio station. 101.7 KZM. Hey, good afternoon. I'm Big Glenn Edwards. <laughs> Getting ready for the 4th of, July, uh, 4th of July holiday weekend. A lot of people are taking Friday off, of course, with the 4th being tomorrow. Uh, anyway, uh, weather-wise, uh, your forecast is coming up in a few moments. I don't know if you've heard about this or not, but here's the deal. Uh, workers in northern China were demolishing an old house recently, and they had to call in the bomb squad because they found a live grenade. That's right. How did it get there? Well, the 90-year-old woman who had lived there found it in the field many, many years ago, and she'd been using it as a hammer for over 20 years. Uh-huh. Hammer. It's a grenade, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, World War II era grenade with a wooden handle. She didn't know what it was. She thought it was a tool. Uh, she told police that she'd been using it as a hammer to hammer nails, also as a nutcracker, uh, and she'd been doing it for over two decades. Now, the wooden handle was smooth and glossy from all the wear. Uh, and the metal head at the end was full of dents from where she was using it as a hammer. Uh, thank goodness uh, nobody was hurt. Uh, authorities were able to detonate the device. But talk about luck. Justin Moore here on 101.7 KSAM playing today's best country and all of your favorites. So meetings over the phone for work purposes are back in style because everybody is tired of Zoom. It's been a long four years. <laughs> Young people who hate the phone, specifically talking on the phone and not texting, are not happy about it. The Wall Street Journal did a big story on what's called telephonophobia, which is the fear of making or receiving phone calls. It's much more common in people under 30 who never known a world without texting. Cannot believe we've gotten to this point. <laughs> Older workers tend to find phone calls more relaxing because no one's looking at you, but younger employees have the complete opposite take. One 26-year-old they talked to said he had to listen to music, or she had to listen to music, to pump herself up before she gets on the phone because not seeing people gives her anxiety. Another quote said, If I can't see their facial expressions, I'm fearful that I might say the wrong thing or they'll take something the wrong way and I won't be able to tell. Some companies are even hiring consultants now to teach young people how to do work calls. A woman named Mary Jane Cops calls herself the phone lady and charges $3,000 a day or $200 an hour for one-on-ones. She says some of the questions she gets surprises her, like how do I end a phone call? Quote, well, things that too many of us seem obvious are no longer obvious. I how to end a phone call that is a question i never ever thought <laughs> that i would hear in my lifetime of how to end a phone call but also three thousand dollars a day i need to start doing that for a side gig you kidding me 